right, first off, I want to talk about running back slash fullback Carson Steele. In the previous video, I talked about how I'm looking to see this UDFA carry what he had from college into the NFL, toughness, strength, and the want to play the game. And I think he proved that last night. I think his first rush of the game, he got 20 yards. Uh, he finished off with 29 yards, which isn't all that crazy, right? And he had a touchdown. But I, I, I still saw the strength and I saw the push. The defenders couldn't get him down. I saw how tough he really was. And if he can continue to play like this in the next two preseason games, the next, next week we play the Detroit Lions, if he can continue to play like this and just get a little more yards, I think he'll be well on his way to making this roster. Let's let, take a quick look back at what I said in the previous video. What I'm really thinking of when I say UDFAs for the Chiefs this year is running back slash fullback Carson Steele. And he's a great, great player. He rushed, I think, over a thousand receiving yards one of those years at college he had. Um, from him tomorrow, I just want to see how tough he is. I want to see if he really, really is fit for the NFL. I want to see if he's fullback material. I want to see if what he did in college he can do in the NFL because if he can bring what he did from college into the NFL, he will make this 53-man roster. Able to get the big guy to the ground. We talk about it all the time. There, missed tackle right in the hole. Then another missed tackle. Then a third missed tackle right here. That's not going to be able to get it done if you want to be a top defense. You got to be able to get And then you got Justin Ross who made an incredible toe-tapping catch last night. And the hype train may be back for some people, but for me, I need to see this consistently. He was on and off with this last year, had some good catches, and then games where he just did nothing. I need to see this consistently from him, and if he really wants to make this roster, he's going to have to do a lot more than just some toe tap and catches. I think it's a good start for Justin Ross, but uh, I'm looking to see a little more from him next week against the Detroit Lions. And if he can start getting touchdowns, catching more, and making multiple toe tap catches, then maybe he could make a case possibly for making this 53-man roster. And then we got some unfortunate news. We got w wide receiver Hollywood Brown he spent the night at the hospital. He has been released just as of about 30 minutes ago. Uh, but he suffered a stern O'Clavic. Clur, don't don't quote me on that. I don't know how to say that. I'm not no doctor. Joint dislocation versus the Jaguars. An injury more associated with the car crash, they said. Um, but you know, it's it's unfortunate to see this have happened. I don't really know the severity of the injury right now. I'm assuming it's not too big, being that you know he was released out the hospital, but who really knows? If I'm Andy Reid and the Chiefs, I'm not going to play him next weekend against the Lions just to be safe. And to be honest, maybe not even play him for the rest of the preseason. Definitely not what you want to see is some of our starters getting hurt, especially one like Marquise Hollywood Brown, a guy that we signed this offseason that will definitely upgrade this wide receiver room. But you know, with that being said, we had some we had some good flashes and some bad flashes. We did lo end up losing the game, unfortunately. But I'm excited to see what these guys can do next week against the Detroit Lions. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.